hello guys welcome once again to another youtube tutorial on bioinformatics today i'm going to do a demonstration on how to download data sets from the tcga database for those who don't know the tca database it's a database that hosts cancer genomic data okay, and this is their home page where you can just have a look at what the database is about now in order to download data sets from the TCG database, you need to have a browser and then you also need to have your download app. In this case, the GDC clients. And of course, you also need the internet connectivity. Now aside the GDC clients, you can also use some Python scripts to do the downloads. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use GDC clients. Once you have your browser and app installed you visit the portal then you select the data out to the cards and then you download the manifest file which you then feed to the gsc clients to download the files so i'll go right to the tutorial section so in order to read more of the two you can just check on their page um, here. So we have the data transfer to command line documentation. That tells you how to use the GDC clients to download the stuffs. Okay, this is also the download page where you can download um, the tool for Windows or Linux environments. Okay, so to visit the portal, this is the link. So once you hit you go to the home page and the data sets are housed are hosted in this repository so you just click on the repository and then it sends you to the page now let's look at these two types one is the files and then the other is the cases so the files allows you to select the data type you want and the cases allows you to select the type of cancer for whose data sets you want to obtain so for this demonstration i'm going to download the gene expression data sets and so that's what i'm going to do and before that you should also notice that there are various sections here the sections of items that lets you try to do a more refined selection of the data type you want so if you look at the data category we have a number of them here not all of them are displayed by default. So when you come to more, you click on it to show you the others. Now for gene expression data sets, it's a transcriptome profiling data. And so for the category here, I'll select my transcriptome profile. Now you should also know that whatever item you select might lead to changes in the rest of the items being displayed. Okay. So notice that once I click the transcriptome, the page refreshed and then gave some different contents, right? Now let's go to data type. I'm interested in gene expression, so I select gene expression. You should also notice that for each item in the various sections, there is a number here. The number tells you how many files are present for that particular item that you've selected okay now experimental strategy is irony sick which is unchecked now for every section if the items are unchecked the database assumes you are downloading all those items so if you want some items then you have to check them i want irony sick so i check it now workflow type these are data sets available for the RNA seq workflow type. So these are tools. We have AT seq and then star. These are tools that perform the gene quantification. And I'm interested in the AT seq FPKM values. So that's what I will check. I'll leave the rest unchecked. But before that, let's take a look at the access. Now, in terms of data access, there are two types of data. We have the open data and then we have the controlled. 
the open data is available for download without any authentication or restriction now controlled data you need to have some form of permission or authentication before you can download them examples of control data is the raw bound files raw fast files and then variation data okay so now that we are down the selection of the files let's go to cases here too we have sections here to enable you to select the type of cancer set you want so for primary site these are um, border sites where cancer uh, was identified so let's say i'm interested in the brain site so i select brain in the program these are programs that have collected data sets so let's say i want all the data sets so i'll leave them unchecked these are other ones so i'll leave them unchecked now once you are done with your file selection and case selection the next step is to come and then add the files to the cards so if you want to add all the files you selected then you just come to add all files to cards and then click it you can also undo the change here if you want some of the files you selected then you can come and then check them individually so let's just say i want the first five files here i'll check them one two three four five and notice that whenever you check an item there's a notification here it's gone so once you are done with your items selection and checking and you download the manifest file okay so let's save it here now depending on the number of files selected the manifest file will take a while to prepare and then download it so it takes notes okay so once we are done with this particular download of the manifests we can proceed the manifest itself is not a data but it contains information that will be used by the GDC clients to download your selected data. So let's just go to the command line. I have my GDC clients installed, so I'll proceed. So we just type the GDC client, it shows some information. That's how it's used. Okay, now let me see it to desktop where the manifest file was and you should also know that if you are downloading the data sets the gdc client downloads the data to the directory where you are and so it's also important that you create some directories and then cd to it so that the downloads will be done there so that you don't have your other directories being dumped with a lot of data so let me make a directory where I will do the downloads into. I'm moving the manifest file to that directory. Then I'll cd to that directory myself. Okay. So once you are done, to download, you specify the GDC clients. Then you indicate with the download option. And then you specify the manifest with a dash m flag and then you specify the part to the manifest file there are other ways to download but this is um, how i prefer to do it so once you are done with this and you click sorry you, you hit the enter button to proceed now depending on the number of files it will take a while to download all the data sets you have selected so you should take note of that particular one yes you notice that the files are now downloading and you can see from the progress here so it's been downloaded so when you go to your directory where you specified 
you will see that different directories are being created yeah so you can see them being created here. so once download is complete it's saved in a different directory so each directory stands for a particular file okay so let's just open one of these files and see the contents so for the file they will also be gzipped so we can extract and then view it we are dealing with gene expression data and so so what we are going to see is a data set that has the genes as well as the quantification okay so this is what we have here these are the gene names and these are the gene quantification values right so depending on your research design and your methods or objectives or whatever you might need to merge all these files into a single file and then give it some labels so for example if it were to be a machine learning or classification tax then you have to combine all these individual files into a single file and you give them label and then start your classification your process so this is where we end today's tutorial about downloading the tests from the tcg i'll see you again next time bye bye